Hello. Today, Burak in Brain and Women in Tech, report by Hacker Rank 2019. And tell me, do you learn how to code? Or maybe do you know women who want to know how to code? Or maybe you know women are engineers. And what do you think? What do you say? If you are happy, it's okay. But if you feel not really comfortable, maybe it's only our bias. And right now, if you try to ask yourself about how looks real, real engineers. Am I an engineer because I wear my glasses? Am I engineer? because I have a special dress, for example, like a blouse. Hmm, look, it's not a blouse. Or maybe it's like a special jacket. Maybe it's like a secret to be an engineer. Hmm, not really. Okay, probably right now you understand my point of view. Whatever you see is only illusion. Important, how many hours you spent to learn something in efficient learn it's really important how much time do you want to spend to know more about coding it's like a secret your your motivation your time and your mindset because like the first problem it's our bias and right now i want to tell you something about women in tech. Okay, and right now we have like next generation who works. Next generation is Gen Z women. Gen Z women learned how to code and algebra at the same time. Gen Z women are coding at a younger age than the generation before them. Okay, what does this mean? It really mean we have more women programmers in the future? Not really, because I think like the first, we need to change our mindset. We still have problem with self-confident. Confident level, women and men, it's still not the same. And it's still so many things to do. And it's our job. For example, when you know someone like your friends, younger, older girl, women, someone who wants to change occupation, to find new path, to develop yourself, and they want to be like programmers. I think it's so important when we can find support. Okay, and you can tell me, but right now you have so many conferences, you have so many groups via social media and etc. Okay, I agree, but it's still not enough. And we need to think more about quality and about leadership. Because, for example, when young girl going to a conference and usually they see like the ocean of the white and Asian men in the, the middle age. Why? Because we haven't like patterns, women who coding in the past. Of course, maybe you know like a few women who coding, but you don't really see them because they really like coding. And right now, for example, sometimes you avoid coding because you think, you know, it's not a really great life. Or you think about to be programmer in this way when you think about it so many years ago. Because right now, they have a lot new wonderful tools. And to code, it means more to understand the path and the language. When you understand how you can use this language 
to solve the problem is much easier. Okay, and right now you can say, okay, but you know, I have the skills to be a good programmer. Hmm, okay, but what skills do you think you need? You need to understand how to problem solving. You need to be patient. You need to have communicate to another people in good way. And for example, you need to like continuous learning. And you check it. Do you have this kind of things? I think yes. And next level, it's find your own path how you can code in more efficient way. For example, a few years ago, I started my idea about Python. Why Python? Why not Python? I'm a huge fan. This is a team from Great Britain and I like a sense of humor from this is comedians. But generally, right now, when I understand, okay, but maybe it's not good path to me, and I try to find a new way. Right now, I still dream about the future, me, and Python will be a really, really good friend. And, you know, maybe you think right now it's not important how many women want to be a programmer in the future. But believe me, if we want to be like invisible women, we need to understand. Only if we try to change our future, only if we try to do something obvious because, you know, technology, coding is everywhere. You use that every day. Maybe you don't recognize that, but every day you have possibility to use tools. And this is tools is like idea from programmers. If you haven't equal like men and women programmers, you have only one point of view. Okay, you can say, yeah, but right now, so many women going to work to technology with IT specialist, UX design, coach, and etc. Okay, but it's still not enough. It's only like about 20%. Do you understand? If your sister, if your daughter, if someone else want to be a programmer, just say, yeah, it's a good idea. Never give up and just try. Thank you so much and I hope you subscribe my channel and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.